Charter Local Edition, Brad Pomerantz here in the Inland Empire, joined by Gloria Negretti McLeod. She is a trustee with the Chafee Community College District, which serves significant portions of San Bernardino County. And I want to talk about what's known as the Aspen Prize. Don't give away the ending yet. Okay. Tell us what the Aspen Prize is. Well, it's a reflection on what kind of schools there are across the nation. The Aspen Prize started with uh, 1,200 uh, colleges mm -hmm. that they looked at. Every two years. Every two years to find out which college, uh, what kind of services colleges uh, provide to, serve, to students. And what they're looking at is they're looking at excellence, specifically in community colleges, and they're looking at how these institutions serve certain communities. It could be economically disadvantaged communities. Uh, they're looking at certificate and degree completion, employment and earnings for graduates, uh, student learning generally, and then, like I said, success for minority and low-income students. So there's four categories which these institutions look at. And what they look at is the mission statement of a college. What is your mission statement? Of course, Chafee's mission statement is to make sure that the students succeed. That is the number one priority. And apparently, the Aspen Institute has decided that Chafee College is succeeding because from 1,200 colleges, they narrowed the field, I think first to 100, is that right? Yes. And Chafee was in that list. But then on September 13th, they narrowed the list to 10. And Chafee College is one of those 10. They were in the runner-uppers. <laughs> I mean, what an amazing honor to be on this list. Uh, I must say that another California institution is also an honoree. Uh, Pasadena the City College, but let's not talk about them. Let's talk about Chafee College. Tell us about why an institution that serves 28,000 students in, I'll call it the Rancho Cucamonga, Ontario area, what did the, inst what did the prize um, see when they decided to get... Well, they, they actually came out to the college right. and they interviewed uh, the students and staff. They want to make sure that staff their primary purpose is how do we make students succeed? Mm -hmm. How does the board f follow up on its mission, again, success of students, and how the college is run overall to better the students' lives? When announcing Chafee as a finalist, the board of the Aspen Institute highlighted a few points. And I'd like to discuss those because I do think they are an indication of why Chafee is so strong. They noticed that Chafee serves a diverse, historically underrepresented population of which 81% of the students are of color, 60% are Hispanic. What does that mean for Chafee? What does that mean for the students? Well, I went to Chafee. I'm an alumna. Yes, I love that. I'm an alumna of Chafee, and when I went, uh, Latinos were not that big a pr uh, uh, percentage ma majority right. at the school. And then suddenly, as people started to go more to community colleges, the uh, the Latino population started to rise. Uh, Valley has a larger percentage. Valley is in uh, San Valley, Bernardino. San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. They have a larger percentage of black students, I see. so we have a larger percentage of Hispanic students, which then reflects what the community right. looks like. But it's one thing to have a large number of students of Latino descent or of color. It's another thing to see if those students are succeeding. Well, remember the mission of the, of the college is to make sure that students succeed. And listen to this. Uh, the national average for retention at a community college in the first year is 52%. At Chafee, the first year retention rate is 73%. That's, That's a whopping 21%. Because job. they work now to make sure that if a student is flailing in some area, they catch them. Chafee is also awarding 100 students more per year with degrees which is a 75% increase over we have five years. Grown, we have grown tremendously in the students leaving our school with a degree. Could you talk 
to the extent you're aware about the fast track program that is something that the Institute brought up and as I understand it fast track is aimed at providing accelerated eight-week courses for students and what I read from the Aspen Institute is that students who participate in that are performing at nearly 10 percent higher than their counterparts. I think the people that take the fast track are people that work, that need to go in and go out. And in fact, my daughter is going to take a Spanish class that's fast track. I love that. Yeah. So what it seems to be is that what the Aspen Institute is recognizing is that there are certain categories in which Chafee has tried to excel, and it is. And it is. And, and that is in part uh, true the superintendent president, right. Ms. Dr. Shannon, the staff members, and then the board to a lesser extent. <laughs> no, but give yourself some credit. The five of you work hard. Yeah. Now, the prize will be awarded in March. Of next year. Being top 10 is wonderful. If you are, I guess, second or third, what happens? The prize is $100,000. If you are first. One million. Guess where we want to be. Yes. One million dollars is a lot of money. It really is a lot of money. Should Chafee be successful, what will happen with that one million We haven't dollars? talked about that, uh, but I think at some point we will have to talk about what is it that we want to do with the million. Do we want to put it back into programs? Do we want right. to make it a little better for students? You know, Chafee went through a, a very large a renovation of the mm -hmm. whole school. In fact, when I left in 2000 as a board trustee, right. yes, the, and I this came is a back, return engagement. I didn't even know where I was going because there wow. was new buildings, the streets had been changed differently. And what's remarkable about Chafee is that I think a lot of folks in the Inland Empire, when they think about community colleges, RCC comes to mind, Riverside Community College. Mount Sac. Mount Sac also comes to mind. On the, I guess, is that the LA County side as yes. well? right over the Right the over the border. Line. But it winds up that um, Chafee has more students now than even RCC and Mount Sac. I think for a long time, certain schools were known for certain things, and college ha uh, Chafee has always been known for its academic right. excellence. And what about its transfer rate to either Cal State San Bernardino, UCR, UCLA, wherever so it it's, is? So it's, it's much larger now. In the midst of all of this, Chafee, like all other institutions, go through an accreditation That's process. Right. You're about to enter that process. Um, some schools have had tough times with that. Uh, Cuesta College in San Luis Obispo, San Francisco City College in San Francisco. I think, was it Compton in LA County? Mm -hmm. There have been some bumps. Um, Chafee has not had those bumps. No, no. Talk to us about the accreditation process. Well, the crisis, accreditation, the uh, process. Is, it's a process that happens every six years in every institution of higher learning right. has to go through it. Community colleges, uh, the universities, everybody. Mm -hmm. And the and you have to be accredited right. in order for the students to have those degrees count. So if you were having a problem like Compton and some of those, right. you know the students were the ones that suffered. So at Severus. So it, uh, yes, so we make sure, uh, we've already had the team come out. Right. And so they're, they've come out and, and checked us and we think we're good again in the mission. And they focus a lot on the trustees role with the president and really? the school, yes. Because some of those schools that failed was that they didn't talk in a single voice even though there was right. dissension. Uh, they were fighting amongst each other. They didn't, they didn't provide for the college the stability that they should have. Congratulations on being named a top 10 finalist for the Aspen Award. Please come back, let us know what happens. Her name is Gloria Negretti McLeod, trustee with Chafee Community College District. I'm Brad Pomerantz in the Inland Empire, Charter Local Edition.